So, it's me, Ma'am Sess. So, in this video lesson, pag-uusapan natin kung paano ba pag-balance ng redox equation using the two method. Okay? So, yun ay ang oxidation number change method and half reaction method. So, ano nga ba yung dalawa? So, these two different methods for balancing redox equations are the oxidation number change method and the half reaction method. Okay? So, these two methods are based on the fact that the total number of electrons gained in reduction must equal to the total number of electrons lost in oxidation. Okay? So, ang pag-uusapan natin sa video na to ay tungkol lamang sa Una, syempre, sa using, uh, using oxidation number change method. Okay? So, para hindi tayo malito. Isa-isa lang tayo. Okay? So, in the oxidation number change method, um, you are balancing the redox reaction by just comparing the increases and okay, increases and decreases in the oxidation numbers. Okay? From the word itself, oxidation number changes. Okay? So, to use this method... Uh, you will, siyempre, you will start with the skeleton equation for the redox reaction. So, this given um, skeleton equation is unbalanced. Okay? So, we need to balance it using the oxidation number change method. Okay? So, the first step is you're going to assign oxidation numbers to all the atoms in the equation. So, you just simply write the numbers above the atoms. Um... That's the oxidation number, which is stated per atom, okay? So, previous video, I have I already discussed on how to um, assign, di ba, oxidation numbers. So, the given here, we have positive 3, negative 2, positive 2, negative 2, 0, positive 4, and negative 2. Take note that in redox reaction, we can say that the, the given equation is redox equation or reaction if there's a change in their oxidation number okay so this for this we can say that um there's a change no in their redox uh, in their oxidation number kasi as you can see here from positive 3 sa product side it became zero tama tapos from positive 2 naging positive 4 okay after assigning the oxidation number, step number two is you're going to identify which atoms are oxidized and which are reduced. Take note that um, oxidation is the loss of electrons. So, there is an increase in the oxidation number. So, kapag reduction naman, um, there's a gain, in gain of electron and decrease in oxidation number. So, which atoms here are oxidized and which are reduced. Okay? So, pag sinabi natin oxidation, ulitin ko lang, oxidation is the loss of electrons. So, meron siyang increase in oxidation number. Okay? So, kapag reduction naman, reduction is the gain of electrons. So, meron siyang decrease in oxidation number. So, here, um, sino yung na-oxidize, sino yung na-reduce? Okay? So, I, ano natin? Analyze natin. Si, pas, uh, si iron dito, from positive 3, naging 0. Okay? So, meron siyang decrease. Tama? May decrease siya sa um, oxidation number. Therefore, this is your reduce. Okay? So, iron is reduced. Tama? Next, Si oxygen, para sila, negative 2, negative 2, negative 2. Okay? And pagdating kay carbon, positive 2 dito, then naging positive 4 sa product side. Ano nangyari? There is an increase in the oxidation number. So, if there's an increase in the oxidation number, ibig sabihin, may nag-lose uh, nag siya ng electrons. Kapag nag siya ng electrons, there is an oxidation. Okay? So, therefore, carbon here is oxidized. Okay? Ganun lang yon. That is for step number 2. For step number 3, use one bracketing line to connect the atoms that undergo oxidation and another such line to connect those that undergo reduction. So, dalawang line for oxidation and reduction. Okay? So, write the oxidation number change at the midpoint of the 
uh, of each line. Okay, since na-identify natin that um, AL, ay, that carbon, ito, is being oxidized, di ba? Ilan yung change ng oxidation number change nila? From positive 2 to positive 4, we have positive 2. Okay, very good. Next, from positive 3 naging 0. So, there is a reduction of negative 3. Okay? Nagets nyo ba? Ayan. So, oxidation, um, there is an increase in um, oxidation number. So, ilan yung in-increase niya? We have positive 2. Sa reduction naman, um, nag-decrease naman yung um, oxidation number niya. So, ilan yung decrease niya? Negative 3. Okay? For step number 4, make the total increase in oxidation number equal to the total decrease in oxidation number by using appropriate um, coefficient. Okay? The oxidation number increase should be multiplied by 3 and the decrease should be multiplied by 2. So, ang increase natin dito, di ba, si carbon. Si carbon ay nag-increase ng by 2. Tama? Tama. Si iron naman dito ay nag-decrease ng tatlo. Okay? So, sa number 4, kailangan mo naman silang um, kailangan mo silang i-balance, i-equal yung number ng total na na-decrease at decrease in oxidation at saka yung nag-increase dito. Okay? So, sabi dito, the oxidation number increase should be multiplied by 3 and decrease by 2. Bakit? Kasi, para maging equal sila. Okay? Sabi kasi dito, make the total increase in oxidation number equal to the total decrease in oxidation number. Okay? So, kapag ito ay nag-decrease siya ng 2, ba? Okay? Ito naman nag -in uh, ay nag-increase ng 2, nag-decrease ng 3. Tama? So, itong nag-increase ng 2, multiply daw natin sa 3, which is positive 6. At ito namang tatlo na na-decrease natin, i-multiply natin by 2 para maging 6 din sila. So, pantay na sila. Okay? Take note that here in step number 4, um, since um, siya ay nag... Ito, nag-lose siya, diba? Nag-lose siya ng... Kung ilan yung nilagay mo dito na minultiply mo, ayan, siya yung magiging coefficient niya. Okay? So, ilalagay mo yun before dun sa, um, dun sa compound. Okay? So, kunwari, ito, minultiply mo siya by 3. So, this 3 will be your coefficient of carbon monoxide and carbon dioxide. So, you're going to put 3 here and 3 here. Okay? So, since ito naman, ang times natin is 2, okay? So, Maglalagay tayo ng dalawa dito. Dito, hindi na. Bakit? Kasi dalawa na yung given na ayon dito. Okay? Ba't ka maglalagay ng 2 dito? Para maging balance silang dalawa. Okay? Step number 5. Finally, make sure the equation is balanced for both atoms and charge. Okay? If necessary, finish balancing the equation by inspection. Okay? Try lang natin kung balance na sila. So, Fe2, may dalawa. Okay, may dalawa din dito. So, sulat natin ha. So, si Fe may dalawa. Si Fe may dalawa. Si oxygen dito may ilan? Anim. Si oxygen dito may 3 times 2 anim. Si carbon, okay. Si carbon ay tatlo. Si carbon ay tatlo. Okay. So, this is the balance redox reaction using the oxidation number change. Okay? So, madali lang, di ba? Basta, basta tama yung paglalagay mo, na uh, pag-a-assign mo na oxidation number, dire-diretso na yan. And don't forget the five steps in, um, in balancing redox, um, redox reaction or equation using the oxidation um, number change method. Okay, so let's have um, isa pang example. 
Okay, use the oxidation number method to balance the given equation. So, the given equation is so let's go, AL plus H2SO4 yields to AL2SO4 plus H2. Okay. okay, so this is the given equation. So step number one, assign oxidation number to all the atoms in the equation. So let's assign the oxidation number. So we have here the given AL plus H2SO4. Copyin lang natin ulit. So we have AL2SO4 3 plus H2 yes okay so its oxidation number is so AL we have here 0 okay so we have here positive 1 positive 6 and negative 2 for 0 ah uh, for 0 for oxygen sorry AL we have positive 3 we have here positive 6 and negative 2 and H2 is 0 okay so, after assigning oxidation number to all the atoms in the equation, step number two is identify which atoms are oxidized and which are reduced. Okay? So, from the given equation, ayan, so, sabi, ulitin natin na, oxidation is the loss of electrons, increase in oxidation number, reduction naman is the gain of electrons, decrease or, um, in oxidation number. So, alin dito, ang oxidation, o alin dito yung na-oxidize, at alin dito yung na-reduce. Okay? So, si AL, si aluminum kasi dito, o, ba from 0 naging positive 3. So, ibig sabihin, may increase sa oxidation number. So, AL was oxidized. So, AL was oxidized. Okay? So, from its oxidation number 0 naging positive 3. Okay? And, and then, then, ang reduce mo dito ngayon ay si okay, very good, si hydrogen. Kasi, from positive 1, diba, nag-decrease siya to 0. So, hydrogen was reduced. Okay? Reduce from positive 1 naging 0. Okay? Okay. So, step number three. Use one bracketing line to connect the atoms that undergo oxidation and another such line to connect those that undergo reduction. So, write the oxidation number change at the midpoint of each line. So, for step number three, sulat lang natin ulit yung equation. So, we have here AL plus H2SO4. Ay, mali. Tanggalin na natin yung ito. Ayan. Ayan. So, we use Ayan. Yields to AL2 SO4 3 plus H H2 gas. Okay. So, its oxidation number is, we have here 0, positive 1, positive 6, negative 2, positive 3, positive 6, negative 2, and then 0. So, using the bracket, and so, from 0, it became positive 3, and then from positive 1, it became 0. Okay? So, write the oxidation number change. So, from 0 to positive um, 3. So, we have here plus 3. This is your oxidation. Okay. Ayan. Wherein, there were um, 3 electrons lost from aluminum. Okay. And this is reduction. Nabawasan siya ng isa. Okay. So, 1 electrons was gained by hydrogen. Okay? Oh, next. 
make the total increase in oxidation number equal to the total decrease in oxidation number by using appropriate coefficient. So, the oxidation number increase should be multiplied by 1 and the decrease by 3. So, we have here the given, sulat ulit natin, Al S plus H2SO4 yields to Al2 plus H2 gas. Okay? So, its um, oxidation number here is 0, positive 1, positive 6, negative 2, positive 3, positive 6, negative 2, and then 0. So, don't forget the bracket. Ayan. So, from here, 0, naging positive 3, from positive 1, naging 0. Okay? So, kanina, this is positive 3, diba? And this is negative 1. So, make the total increase in oxidation number equal to total decrease. So, ito ay positive 3. Ito ay negative 1. Okay, so, the oxidation number increase should be multiplied by 1. So, 1 times positive 3 is equal to 3. And the decrease by 3. So, kailangan mo lang siyang, kailangan lang nila maging equal. Okay. So, this is negative 3. So, equal na sila. Okay? So, A, uh, um, here, aluminum lost 3 electrons. So, the 1 electron gain by um, hydrogen should be multiplied by 3. And, um, it should be, or you're going to put the coefficient 3 before H2SO4 and um H2. Okay? So, yan. Since 1 naman yan, 1 din yan. Tapos, ito, 1 din. Okay? So, that is step number 4. For step number 5, finally, make sure the equation is balanced for both atoms and charges. If necessary, finish balancing the equation by inspection. Diba? From, um, from step number 4, ayan, kopyahin lang natin to. Ayan, kopyahin lang natin yan. So, sulat natin sa step number 5. So, we have here ALS plus H2SO4 plus, I know, yields to ayan, so yields to AL2SO43 plus H2 gas. Okay? So, Ang balance natin dito, we have 3 at saka 3. So, meron tayo na dito 3, di ba? Nilagay kasi natin coefficient yung kuilan yung minultiply natin. Sa aluminum kasi, isa lang yung minultiply natin, di ba? Sa positive 3. So, 1 lang dito. Pero, kailangan balance na tong equation natin, di ba? So, si AL dito, meron kang isa. Si hydrogen, 3 times 2 may 6 ka. Ang SO4 natin, ilan? Tatlo din. So, SO4. Iyan ko ng polyatomic para mabilis. Okay. Si AL natin dito, dalawa. Si H natin ay anim. Si SO4 natin ay tatlo. Okay? So, balance mo sila lahat? Hindi. Hindi balance si aluminum. Okay? So, since ito ay dalawa, ito lang ay isa. So, maglalagay ka lang ng 2 dito para maging balance sila. Tama? Okay, so this will be your balance redox reaction using oxidation number change method. Dali lang, di ba? Okay, thank you for listening. I hope may natutunan kayo. God bless us all.